Hi Techie guys, I'm Nan Kishore Swami and today we would be learning about disabling connect to server uh, message box uh, that will pop up when you try to open your Pega Robotics Studio or Visual Studio. So let's get started. Just uh, go ahead and open your Pega or Visual Studio. So when you open this message bo box pop ups uh, it will uh, ask for certain information like email address or password and then it connect to server so to disable this message box you can certainly click on cancel and close your visual or pega studio then go to your this PC or my computer then go to the C drive and in the C drive click on view on the folder options and then click on options so we are trying to change the view options once you click on the option again go to the view and look for the option that sh uh, shows show hidden files folders and drive drives so just have this little checkbox done then click on apply and say ok so once you click on ok you will see there is another folder pops up or start visible is program data so just go to the program data and locate your folder that is called as open span it's no matter which, uh, whether you are using pega robotic or open span the folder name would be open span so just open that folder and locate a file called common config.xml so just right click or if you click on edit it may open in a different uh, uh, application but it would be better if you try to open that in the notepad so go to the notepad and just open it so once you open it let me increase this font size so it would be easily visible so I'm going to increase to the 16 okay now locate something called server configuration so that's here so under the server configuration look for config and after the config there is something called enabled so in the server configuration there is something called enabled and that is equal to true so just make it false so just type F A L S E save it and close then you can close the folder and it's done now open your visual studio you won't see that uh, connection or connect to server message box box is not popping up anymore so that's it in this tutorial thanks for watching see you in the next video